What's up guys, Cloudy here, checking in with some event news and the review of the developer talk that was just posted by Vespa today. Seems not a day goes by without them giving us something to talk about and here I was thinking that today I could just slack off. But okay, let's see. So we have this event, this is real quick and then we will go over to the developer note and see what they have in store for us. Um, so this one is going on from April 2nd to the 5th and basically you just need to see where the eggs are on this picture and then fill in a Google form as usually um, it's in the post itself and if you get all the answers right then you get all of this stuff if you do not get all answers right then you get this stuff so basically reforged tickets are really good I will definitely fill this stuff in just for that um, it's not a terribly hard event, I would say, but uh, if you are struggling with it, the answers are in the uh, comment section below. But let's move on to the developer note, because this is the really exciting stuff. Um, yeah, it seems that uh, new PD means uh, returning to some things and having more stuff. So let's see. Um, they are talking just about uh, s uh, s feedback they have been receiving and what they want to do. and. Um, so first of all, they will go over the client stabilization um, topic that they want to discuss. So they say that these are the most um, issues that people have re so, uh, reported crashing or deck changing issues when playing Eclipse. Uh, yep, Guild Conquest delaying, even Dungeons and Montreal were delaying. Well, yeah, the load screens and the stuff can be pretty, pretty laggy at time. Delaying issues encountered in the reward results, yeah, shock making the technomagic, yeah, sometimes. I also would add, add that uh, whenever you click at the portal thing where you can select all the stuff for, that you want to do, it can take forever sometimes to load and it's been such a pain ever since they changed all of that because before you could just go directly to dragons and whatnot and now you have to wait for everything to load. I hope they will fix that too. Um, <clears throat> so they are trying to fix this. Uh, these issues, but we will hear more of them. Then they talk about, of course, the APK file, which they provide for players using emulators, which does, in fact, actually uh, reduce the crashing issues. But here comes the big news. Um, for their long-term plans, they are in the process of developing a Windows version of King's Aid. So we will be able to run King's Raid on a PC without the use of emulators. Now, if this is properly optimized, that would make it so much better. It would mean that people who do not have such beefy computers or who f struggle with virtualization and stuff will be able to, to run the game too. I suppose that should be more efficient than having to run it on an emulator. Uh, looking forward to this. So this is now the main screen of their development version, which is of course in Korea. Uh, they do not say yet when, when this will be ready, uh, but yeah, they are. it's a long-term plan, so don't expect it. I would not I would say probably by the end of the year, maybe then, but uh, yeah, we'll see how fast they can get it done, but looking forward to this. Now, moving on, Guild Conquent and Guild Content is one of the most popular contents in the game in which raiders can enjoy all together, um, so, but they say that the rewards UI and the game rules were left unchanged for a long time, so they want to touch on this, they want to, they started with the Guild War updates and, well, this didn't quite work out, but yeah, uh, they are making improvements, planning to make improvements to Guild Shop UI, Guild Construction and rewards related to Guild Content, and they are will be adding guild related event missions with different kind of rewards so that's good that means more interaction with your guild i suppose or at least more stuff to work together for that's always a good thing in such games uh, improvement to all rewards so yeah they have updated the 28 day roll book but of course not everyone is satisfied well no, no one you can't all um, you can't satisfy everyone like ever but okay so let's see they want to make reward updates to accumulated login hot time tower of ordeal list of the items in the heroes in shop uh, roulette of fortune so in april already they are planning to make big improvements to the rewards of the game yeah these are all pretty outdated um, can use some some updates there so if we get to see any of this in April that will already be a good month for us I think uh, moving on uh, they will try to construct better rewards that uh, they will not and they will try to look at things not only from their developer view but also consider the feedback and suggestion of their raiders well okay all right good stuff um, 
And besides these, they are also reviewing and discussing other stuff. Just, uh, yeah, all right, okay. Communication with raiders. So, um, yeah, they, they actually do plan to do pretty, pretty, uh, have a pretty steady stream of communication. The developer's notes is coming back once a month where they will be discussing the future direction of their development and the process and the results of the issues that are encountered. Update of update sneak peeks. These are twice a month, one week before the maintenance. We already have this patch note. Yes, we already have this during the maintenance. GM note custom. Now this is a new stuff. This will be once a month where, we, where, where they will be receiving votes for the most wanted costumes from their raiders through surveys and these costumes will be available for free. Yeah, you heard it guys. Vespa with a dollar sign just announced that they will once a month create a costume, a costume that we can uh, vote for and this will be available for free. I would say that's pretty amazing and I really applaud for them to making this move. I mean... Of course, uh, not everyone will be happy if they don't get stuff for their favorite heroes. But since it's once a month, sooner or later we will see. Especially, well, uh, probably it will be like a popularity contest, but whatever. Uh, that Everyone will get the chance. I assume that once one hero has received one, they will not be receiving the next one too, because that would be lame. Alright, move on. GM node developers talk tentative name. Alright. <laughs> so this is posted before and after the main updates, if, or before or after. We will be introducing the development stories of the updates. Alright, alright. Fair enough. GM node behind the development. This is also something we had before. So this is posted before after main updates. We'll be introducing behind the skins development stories that raiders are curious about. And they will be doing surveys for improvements once every quarter. That's also good that they actually give a timeline for this or a schedule for this. So they will be receiving feedback and suggestions from raiders and will try to implement these as much as possible. Um, so yeah, they are still saying that they aren't too good on the communication part. Uh, so they will try to get this done and make improvements to that. So yeah, these are all pretty, pretty good stuff. And now uh, at the end of the, the update, there are some videos for the upcoming chapter 10. Finale. Um, you can watch these now. If you do not want to see spoilers yet, then I will say goodbye to you. Just turn the video off now and let's continue with these videos. I quite like them. I already watched them, so let's see. Actually, I realized I don't have system sound on, so you will not be able to hear the sound effects. Um, I will put the link to the post in the description so you guys can watch these on your own. It's curious that Castle was actually laughing there because I thought he was kind of like a, a shell without a wheel, so to say. Shamila, the Arara lady herself. Actually, this one, this last one looked pretty amazing in, in itself. You definitely need to watch it on your own with the music because it just makes it super eerie and creepy. It has so much feel to it. I'm really looking forward to this stuff. So yeah, all in all, good stuff. It seems PD Edge has thrown himself at the work. Um, yeah, looking forward to all this stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I personally am hyped. So yeah, let's talk about this. This has been Cloudy for now. i see you in the next one. Bye-bye.